Now to North Korea, where Supreme Leader Kim Jong-un has appeared at a military parade in the capital Pyongyang. And the presence of his daughter uh, has raised eyebrows. The nighttime event marked the uh, military's 75th anniversary and showcased up to 11 intercontinental missiles. The missiles are seen as a major challenge to the West as they're de designed to reach the United States mainland. Uh, Kim Jong uh, attended the e event with his uh, young daughter, uh, Kim Ju Ai, uh, fueling speculation that she's being uh, primed as the country's uh, future leader. North Korea wants the world to see its military might. In 2022, the country launched dozens of missiles, more than any other year on record. They included long-range crews and ballistic weapons. North Korea's leader Kim Jong-un is the military's supreme commander. His country may be poor, but on his watch, it spends almost a quarter of its GDP on the military, according to the US State Department. Despite being 75 years old, the Korean People's Army, the KPA, is still shrouded in secrecy. It's made up of an estimated 1.2 million personnel. In September 2017, Kim signed off on North Korea's sixth and last known nuclear test. That was quickly followed by Pyongyang claiming a new intercontinental ballistic missile, the Hwasong-15, had been tested. The entire United States is within range of our nuclear weapons, and a nuclear button is always on my desk. This is reality, not a threat. The exact size and strength of North Korea's nuclear arsenal is unclear, but it's believed to possess up to 30 nuclear heads, with state TV promising more. The current situation highlights the importance and necessity of mass production of tactical nuclear weapons and calls for an exponential increase of the country's nuclear arsenal. That threats concerning Washington and its allies. Last week, the US and Japan held joint air drills. All of this sparking fears of an Asian arms race. No one quite sure what Kim and his generals are planning next. Uh, straight to then to Reuters senior correspondent to Josh Smith Smith in uh, the South Korean uh, capital Seoul. Welcome, Josh. Um, so, what do these images tell us? So tonight we did have that uh, interesting juxtaposition of uh, Kim Jong Un and his family overseeing uh, these massive nuclear-tipped missiles. Uh, sh the daughter has interestingly uh, made an appearance at almost every uh, major military event lately, and it's really underscoring kind of the twin pillars of power in North Korea, the Kim family um, uh, and its various members there, as well as now this increasingly powerful nuclear arsenal. Uh, analysts we spoke to uh, say that Every one of these parades and demonstrations of North Korea's nuclear power underscores its policy that it will never give up those weapons. Uh, and the uh, family presence there underscores how uh, these weapons are an integral part of the future of the country as well as of the Kim family regime. And talk us through the weapons that we saw. So, as you mentioned, uh, we saw uh, nearly a dozen of some of their longest range Hwasong uh, 17 ICBMs, uh, which they tested for the first time last year. These are some of the largest road mobile ICBMs in the world, uh, and they would be capable of reaching targets nearly anywhere around the globe, including, crucially, in the United States. Uh, we also saw uh, a potential new uh, solid fuel ICBM. Uh, it's unclear whether it's uh, supposed to be an operational missile or possibly mock-ups. Um, North Korea does have a history of rolling out prototypes or uh, mock-ups at these parades. Um, but its presence there uh, suggests or underscores North Korea's pursuit of uh, solid fuel uh, missiles, which would be opposed to the current liquid-fueled missiles, uh, which typically take a long time to fuel. 
making them easier to potentially target in a conflict. Uh, and so this suggests kind of the next step in their missile development there. So tell us more about this daughter, uh, Kim uh, Ju Ai. I believe she's not even the, the, the oldest, but the, the second, his second daughter. And it, it does look like she's being groomed to take over. Is that what we should take from this? Uh, so she is the first and only child so far that's ever been acknowledged or officially uh, shown by uh, North Korea. Um, so there is speculation that there is an older child. Uh, however, that's not confirmed and is far from clear. Um, uh, and she, even her name, uh, we only know because of Dennis Rodman's um, uh, visit to Kim Jong-un. She's never been named by Kim Jong-un. But her increasing presence at these key events does add fuel to the speculation that she's being groomed for uh, a senior leadership position at minimum and possibly even Kim Jong-un's job itself um, whenever he dies. Thanks for that, uh, Josh Smith. Josh Smith in Seoul.